Hey everyone, it's Jay again, and I am fighting the dark, the the black Dragon Ball Dragon. Yeah, black Dragon Ball Dragon. So let's go. Um, yeah, fifteen percent should be all I need. Wow, Inferno Chains Dragon. That's awesome looking. Look at you. Look at you, look at you. Since you're not purifying, let's just knock down your health. Oh, there you go. <laughs> right when I say something. But how much did I get him down by? 15% right away? That's pretty good. I need to get him down to uh, solid chains, huh? Well, I don't know what you just did, but whatever you did, it's gone now. Make me numb. Don't do that. I'm bleeding. There we go. Disaster chain. This is an. I would love to have this guy as a pet. Look at this thing. This thing is awesome. <laughs> I wish my pet was just that big. I'm really glad that I fought this one. This is the one that I've actually been looking really forward to fighting. Um, charge. <laughs> oh yeah, I have Itsukura because I'm just trying to level up some random pets. I don't know why. So. Do, 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 do. Okay, he's definitely below 50% health now. Demon roar. I'm gonna do flexible. Because I am worried about you doing something to me. I don't know why, but for some reason your demon roar has got me kind of on edge. So that knocked him down to probably 40% health, maybe 30-ish percent health. Yeah. Okay. I want to get that down to below 25 but above 10. So, <coughs> so that doesn't sound too hard to do. Okay. I love that attack. So how many of these things do I have to waste? I have six. And he's probably the last one I'm going to catch. So let's just go ahead and take the risk. I don't think I'm close enough yet. Wow, I was. Awesome. Well, I'm glad I did that. And I got the Fossil Dragon, which is not nearly as cool as the dragon that I just fought. However, with the Fossil Dragon, I can do something really stupid. And that is, try to level up the Fossil Dragon to level 22. Try to feed both the Windstorm Dragon and the Turtle Dragon. Try to fuse them together. Try to fuse that that dragon with the earth lava dragon and try once again to get a level 3 super dragon because I'm an idiot and I'm going to waste my gold trying to do that. <sighs> so, yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and feed these guys, I guess, since I've gotten plenty of food um, over the past couple days. So you I can just feed... And not have to worry. Is there any that do more than 13? Nope. That's 12, 90, there, 10. That way I don't waste any food. And I can go ahead and feed you. 4. I'm going to level you up to 20 first before I do that. So. Let's be dumb, and I'll be right back, and I'll tell you the Fossil Dragon's skills before I try and fuse everybody together. So, anyway, be right back. Okay, I wasn't going to show me leveling up the pet, because I usually don't, but this one is really active. Like, look at him go. I think this is the only one that's actually flying, and it's funny, because it's a Fossil Dragon. It's like the one that you'd think really couldn't move. So, but no, look at him go. Anyway, be right back again. Alright, and we're back. 
So, the Fossil Dragon's level 5 skill is... Hell of Needle. Cause bleeding effect for two turns. Enemy will suffer an extra 5% damage under bleeding effect. So, 5% extra damage, or 5% bleed for two turns. Evil Beam. Powerful Beam Shooting. Cause chaos effect for one turn. They got really lazy with the skills on this one, which is weird, because it's kind of a cool-looking pet. Um, Dark Destructive Fire. Increase Master's Critical, Dodge, Combustion, Purify, and Reactive Force chance by 4% for two turns. That's pretty awesome. Especially if that's what you rely on. That's kind of awesome. And finally, Dark Destructive Fire. Spit considerable dark fire. Enemy's HP will be burnt down by 2% in each turn for two turns. So it's a burn 2% for two turns. So if you want to go ahead and get this dragon, you can right now. So I'm going to go ahead and try and fuse these two together. Because I love you guys. And that's what I do for you guys. So. Am I using the right one? What would happen if I... Let's see here. Have I chose Fossil and Windstorm? Now what if I, if I changed it to this one? That's strange. Okay. And... Awesome. That's a level 1 dragon, though. I was hoping for a level 2 dragon. So, not awesome. Uh, well, <laughs> I never got this dragon, so... Let me go ahead and level him up and... Ay, ay, ay. See what his skills are. I'll be right back again. Okay, so Golden Triple Dragon, his skills are Flashbang Bomb. The s dragon spurts out a blinding flashbang from its mouth, causing a target to have reduced accuracy by 5% each turn for two turns. So, uh, lowers accuracy. Yeah, it's exactly what it says. <laughs> um, plasma Cage generates a plasma field which can dissipate the target's chakra. Burns charged CP by 5%. Not bad, not bad. Storm's Blessing. Hypercharges its master, granting bonus effect. Increases attack damage, critical chance, and accuracy by 5% for two turns. That's nice. And finally, the ultimate hypercharged combo. Overloads the body with the ultimate hypercharged lightning and releases it to the target. Stud as a target for two turns. So, again, not a bad dragon. Uh, I think my favorites are probably the Golden Triple and the Fossil Dragon so far. I really, really want to see what what the Dark Clown Dragon and the Jade Cosmic Dragon are like. However, ever... <laughs> With my luck of combination of combining pets, I don't think that's going to happen, so uh, unless I keep playing and I get the chance to give this guy more food, you know, give him that, and I will try one time to combine the Earth Lava 2 Dragon with the Golden Triple Dragon. I'm going to try that one time, and if that does not get me either one of the two other pets, uh, I'm done. Um, so, I don't know why I'm still doing this event. <laughs> anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.